Good morning from the Lincolnshire countryside. It's Andre here from Peak Motorcycles and I'm here at the Royal Enfield Slide School. Uh, we've had a bit of snow and rain the last couple of days so it might be a little bit wet but the track looks like it's dry enough so we should have a good day here. So if you can see behind me uh, we've got the Royal Enfield 411 back flat trackers uh, based on the Himalayan but modified for track use. So it's my first time I've done anything like this, uh, really looking forward to it and it should be a, should be a really fun day. Uh, Gary Bertwistle is the guy who runs it, so I'm just going to go over have a quick chat with him and let him do a brief intro to the day and give an outline of what we're going to be doing. And then I'll go and get ready. Hey everyone, um, I'm Gary Bertwistle and with Dirtcraft Limited and we're here today presenting the Royal Enfield Slide School. So this is an um, initiative brought forward by, by Royal Enfield to get people kind of uh, engaged in flat track and out here outdoors riding bikes, having a, a good positive experience on motorcycles and try and sort of bring flat track into people's mind and, uh, and improve their skill set and, and yeah we should be in for a good day today. So these are the, the bikes that we we use, they're basically a converted Royal Enfield Himalayan so you've probably seen that those bikes out and about on the road are quite popular these days. It's, um, it starts life as a kind of a, um, an adventure style sort of bike, a light enduro sort of do-it-all um, machine and s, &S have provided these this parts kit for us. So we basically started by stripping all the parts off, all the non-essentials, um, low flat track seat unit, uh, wide handlebars, the number boards, taking all the lights and the, the sort of non-essentials off. Um, we've got 19 inch front, uh, wheels front and back. So that's real typical flat track, it's sort of equal size wheels uh, and remove the front brake, which is which is typical of flat track. And then we've got this big uh, loud exhaust on there from SNS. So yeah, it creates quite a good sort of um, easy to ride beginners package for for learning some flat track on. So here we are, sun's out, uh, track has been prepared, you can just see that there in front of me. Uh, looks like they've got some floodlights, I wonder if they do that of an evening. Uh, but yeah, it's a very nice surface, they did say that they were worried if it rained a lot that maybe it would get too muddy and yeah, the tractor's been out preparing it. So here's Matt who's joining me uh, today for the ride and yeah, just give you an aerial view looking down on the circuit from up here on the viewing platform. So I'll take some video today when one of the other groups is out just to give you an idea of exactly what it's like. But yeah, as a, as a way to get into this sort of motorsport, I think this is going to be a really, really fun day. We're, we're actually at the track now and the first group are getting going just, and this is the very first practice bit. So it's a very small oval in the middle of the track, but it has been prepped. And this is the first group just setting off, just getting used to the bikes. So it's no front brake. We said to keep, keep your left foot down all the way around the bends. You know, there are no brakes, just second, uh, first gear all the way around. And uh, yeah, I guess it's a, it's a fun thing and uh, just a way to, to, to just ease into it really, really easily. <laughs> After we'd all had a go on the small track, it was getting a little bit cut up. So the pickup went round with these rollers that were a bit like big tires mounted uh, on frames at the back just to prepare it for our next runs. After we'd had another go, uh, Gary showed us how it's supposed to be done, uh, getting his foot down and sliding the back out just to give us something to aim for uh, as we tried through the rest of the day. That was it for the small track and the very next thing to do is to move on to the bigger track. And before we did that, the first thing we did was we walked around like cows with cowbells with our metal feet plonking on the ground and then it was ready to be off. So then here we go, my first go on the big track. Uh, there's Matt just in front of me and uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. The first few minutes around the cones. So you can see some of this sort of middle line that's uh, lighter coloured is just where it's starting to dry out. You, know, you get these little little bits where it's a little bit softer where it's been uh, wet where it's been wetter and it hasn't dried out quite as much. Uh, they have been out and tried to prepare it a bit just to pack it down and actually it's quite a smooth surface. surface. It is quite grippy. Uh, you can see just right where I am now it's uh, drying out a little, uh, wet a little bit and that's still a little bit soft but the rest of it um, you can see the dry line just starting to form especially where people have been going around these cones uh, like this. It's a brilliant day for it though here. Yeah it's only the 2nd of April uh, and we had snow yesterday 
so this really is a pleasant surprise I think at one point we did wonder whether the day would go ahead at all In between the track sessions, Gary would give us pointers and directions on how we should be riding and how it would be different to how we'd normally ride on the road. Despite appearances and it looking like an oval, you actually have to ride it like a diamond with four corners. So the track's been getting a little bit dry. So, uh, yeah, we now have this coming around just to uh, wetten it up a bit. So it's handy having this on a farm with all the agricultural machinery around to uh, keep it maintained. Right then, off we go for another go. This time trying a different wider line coming in and then just getting back on the power earlier on. Oops. Not quite getting the line right. It's a slightly different line, it's almost like a diamond. So you come out wide and then you shut off the engine, you use a lot of engine braking, a little bit of rear braking just to get the bike in. And then when you're kind of halfway around, so further off the apex that you would be on a road bike, to then get back on and to try and come out much much wider so yeah it is taking a bit of a bit of getting used to i think it was a bit easier when we had the cones and i wasn't going quite so quick i'm trying to get the bike going sideways to brake it's kind of tricky it is for me at least And braking while you're cornering isn't something I've ever really had to do before. At least not, not in the same way as you do here. And it's kind of getting on the power about there, halfway around the bend. I'm trying to open it up a little bit more. Feels quite, quite different. It's all good skills though. It's taking a very, very close line in. You're almost braking as you turn, which is something that feels quite unnatural if you're a road rider. And it does, getting that weight over your left leg does give you a bit of an ache as well. But it's just trying to be able to open up the corner a little bit earlier. And we're done. Ah, all good fun. So that's it, all done for the day. Uh, it was really good fun. Uh, don't think I really mastered it or even got close. Uh, but it was, yeah, really, really interesting, you know, riding a bike with no front brake, uh, just trying to get the power on, uh, on that dirt track, just learning how the grip works. Um, yeah, good skills, and I'm sure it will come in useful elsewhere. I would quite like to come and have a go again, just to get some, some track time, uh, just to see, you know, if I can improve. Uh, Gary did say they might do a level two, which would be the next, the next level of, of skills, I suppose. Uh, what you haven't seen in the video is that between the track sessions, uh, we did get lots of pointers on riding position, sort of body position, uh, and the usual diamond shaped line that you need to take around these flat tracks. So that's interesting and you wanna give it a go, uh, I'll put the link in the video. So I hope that's been interesting and useful. If it has, see you next time. Thanks for watching. So if that's interesting and you wanna give it a go, Everything's falling over. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Um, hey, I'm Gary Bertwistle and we're at the Royal Enfield Slides Call today. Um, hang on, can I start again? I hate this. Honestly, I hate this. Every time I have to do the same thing. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you have as many goes as you like. All right, all right.